this is the safest base in Louisville. No, I'm not calling it the best base in Louisville because it's on the edge of the city and the drive to the fun points of interest can be a little long. However, nearby is a strip of shops including a gas station, a gun store, and hardware store. You will not be lacking good loot in the media area. Back to what makes the base so special. This fancy McMansion of a house has everything you need to survive long term. Both of the neighboring houses have fireplaces inside, as well as a nearby grill, trees inside the fence area to cut for said grill, and a pond out back for an infinite water source without having to rely on collecting rainwater. It's almost completely fenced in, meaning it requires a bare minimum amount of effort to turn this entire fenced area into a safe zone. I don't have level 6 carpentry to make a wooden gate. How can I be safe without blocking car access? Those who are paranoid could build a temporary wall here without forcing their car to be too far away. It's unnecessary though. First, you'll want to clear the zombies out of this massive hunk of forested land, and the best way to do it is with a... Gun. Wait, wait, wait! You can't just shoot a gun, all the zombies will swarm this place. Oh, that's safe to do here. Watch. You see that? The zombies outside the fence aren't passing around to the entrance. It's because the entrance is so far away they can't. That means even if you don't barricade the entrance, you can still do whatever you want back here as long as you don't specifically lead zombies in through the front. If the entrance is so far away, does that mean zombies can respawn inside the fenced area? Yeah, they might be able to, but as long as you go past the entrance every day, no zombies can spawn there. By default, there's a 16 hour spawn protection to chunks you have seen. Now I don't know exactly where the chunk lines fall here, but as long as you remember to do a patrol on days you don't leave your base, there will be no surprise zombies on the uninhabited side. 